Yo, what's going on? It's Felix, the medical commodities guy. So any day now, millions of Americans are getting their $600 stimulus check, and it's up to you whether you're going to save it, spend it, or invest it. I wanna show you how you can take that $600, go out there and buy yourself some medical commodities and flip them. This video and this business is budget friendly. It doesn't require thousands and thousands to get started or take thousands and thousands to learn about this business. I'm gonna break it all down, so let's get right into it. So for anybody that doesn't know what medical commodities are, it's really just a cool word for diabetic testing supplies. Diabetes is a disease that over 30 million Americans have. You might see your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, your uncle, your aunt, your grandparents. They're pricking their self to draw blood to test their blood sugar. And they might come in boxes like these. You might see these around your house. These are diabetic testing strips. In fact, there are over 60 brands that we actually can be bought and resold. Now me, I primarily focus on around four or five different brands because these are the brands that my wholesalers actually buy from me. So the reason this business is so lucrative is because the people that get these diabetic testing supplies typically get them either weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, bi-monthly, over and over and over and over. I've been doing this business since 2015, 2016, and I have had clients who I started buying from back in 2016 that I still buy their testing supplies to this day. Now, that's the front end of the business. The back end of the business is that we have buyers that we sell these products to over and over and over. I've been selling, not only have, been, have I been buying testing strips from some of the same clients for four or five years now, but I've been selling all of my product for the past four or five years to the same two to three buyers. So what I do is I offer a training where I show people the buyers I use, the marketing strategies I use to get these testing supplies so that you can literally go get the supplies and have somebody to sell them to. Now, if you don't want to go that route and you want to take more of your $600 and buy product, then you can buy and resell on eBay. You can see what stuff sells for on eBay, buy it for a fraction of what it sells for on eBay. But if you don't want to deal with eBay, AKA Feebay, because of all the fees they take out, that is where you could inquire about learning and working with me to get access to the buyers I use. But besides that, let me break down this business so you can really understand how it all works. So like I said, your mother, your brother, your father, the guy down the street, many people in your surrounding area, your city, your town, it doesn't matter where you live, Hawaii, Alaska, North Dakota, Georgia, Florida, Texas, Arizona, California, Utah, it doesn't matter. Everybody, one in 10 people have these diabetic testing supplies. So how do we go get them? If you don't wanna tell your family that you're starting a medical commodity reselling business, then you can do basic advertising. People see me online and they think that I'm some marketing expert, some marketing master, when in reality, I'm not. So how do you get them? So what I tell people is think about a gym, right? What do gyms do? Gyms are always saying, join our gym, join our gym, free 30 days, always like that. But what are they doing? They're doing basic marketing strategies. So what are they doing? They're doing signs, they're doing flyers, they're doing Craigslist, they're doing different things trying to get you to join their gym. We do the same thing, looking to buy people's diabetic testing supplies. Let me ask you, have you ever seen a sign in your area that looks like this, something like this? that says cash for gold or gold cars and then a phone number, we do something very similar. So when people call, and this is just one marketing strategies, I have you know a bunch of others that I use, but this is a very effective strategies that I use. I use these plastic signs. You could put them in high traffic areas, old people development, stuff like that. People call me looking to sell their testing supplies. Now, I wanna show you this website that I pulled up called Diabetic Outlet. And as you can see, there are over 60 different brands. So even if people don't have these highest paying brands that I like to buy, you can still pretty much buy any diabetic testing supply that people have and go and resell them on eBay. Like me, I don't use eBay, but it is still a very viable option that you can use. So as you can see, on diabeticoutlet.com, you can actually see all the different brands of testing supplies that we actually buy. True Embrace, True Balance, Embrace, 
Bay of Breeze, True Test, um, True Track, Glucocard, Unistrip, Nova Max, Care Sims, um, True Balance, um, AC, ACSV, um, RK, RK Glucocard, Prodigy, Freestyle, Advocate, um, Red Eye Code Plus, um, Bayer Breeze, Precision Extra. There's there's like almost 70 different brands of diabetic testing supplies. Now, like I said in the beginning, this is the front end. People continuously get their testing strips month after month, week after week, month after month, month after month after month. Now, if you're using eBay or if you're using a dedicated buyer, what we do is we have dedicated price sheets. So I was actually... One of my buyers that I use texted me this sheet and I'll try to flash it on screen so you can see as to what they pay for these boxes. But I'm going to give you an example as to what we would pay for these seven boxes if they came from a lead, say from a sign or say from a flyer or say they seen my business card. So these BCNs, they sell for, according to my price sheet, They sell for $59 a piece. On the street, I could get these for, let's be safe and say $30, right? So they sell for $59. I could get them for $30 a piece. These right here, according to my price sheet, sell for $26. I could pick these up each for $10 a piece. So, so far we spent... Um, 30, 60, 70, and 80. And then I could probably pick these up for 20 a piece, but for the purpose of being fair and being realistic, which, and these sell for 60 to a piece, I'll say 30, 30, 30, 30. So um, 30, 60, 90, 100, 110. 140, 170, right? I spent 170. So I didn't even spend, I spent 170, right? On product. This is 200, but 170, right? This sells for, like I said, 59 a piece. This sells for 26 a piece. And these sell for 62 a piece. So with that being said, let's do the math. 62 times three, that's 186, plus 26, plus 26, plus 59, plus 59. So I bought all of this product for 170 and sold it for 356. Even after PayPal fees, you would still be making 356 because it'd be ten dollars in PayPal fees, or you could do Zelle, wire transfer, Cash App. You could get sent a check, whichever you prefer. But you put out basic marketing materials. You could get some of these for less than a hundred dollars. So, say a hundred dollars in marketing. If you wanted to, four hundred out, uh, three, three, three to four hundred dollars towards some consulting or training from somebody who's been doing this business for a long time, say over four or five years, and then $200 in product. So $300 towards some consulting or training, $200 towards, um, so, towards some product. You really don't even have to spend money on marketing. There are free strategies that you can use that don't cost you anything, um, like different social media apps and stuff like that. So you could hypothetically, either spend $300 on consulting and $300 on product. But like I said, you spent $170 to make almost $400. You almost tripled your money. Uh, $170 times three. And what I say, I actually did... $59 times two plus $62 plus $62 plus $62 plus 26 plus 26. So I spent 170 to make 356. So instead of going out there and buying a bunch of clothes and shoes 
but you're really not going to be able to buy that much because it's only $600. Go out there, buy some medical commodities and flip them and then let the profits from your medical commodity business actually pay for your diabetic, for your shoes or your clothes or whatever you want to spend your money on that's not going to actually bring you more money back. Instead, go out there and market for some diabetic medical commodities and let that pay for it. So if you don't want to deal with eBay and you want to learn from somebody like myself who's been doing this business for years, go ahead and click the first link down in the description below. I have payment plan options available that are within the $600 so that you can use this business to pay for itself, use this business to pay for what you might really want to spend the $600 on. And let me show you a viable business that you could start today that doesn't take a long time, that doesn't take any crazy internet tech skills. And you know, there we have it. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace.